So for the base colors for this nail, I'm actually using a brown, a medium orange, and a dark orange permanent felt, and we are doing the Sharpie effect. So you're going to go ahead over a clear nail that's been sealed with matte, and the dispersion layer has been removed, and you're going to go ahead and color on the different colors in different areas across the nail. Um, I'm starting off here at the lighter orange, working my way up to the medium orange or darker orange, and then I'm going to come in with some of the brown. And I'm making sure not to put too much brown just because darker colors, when you're using Sharpie and doing the Sharpie technique, can really overtake your design. So being mindful of that when you're going ahead and coloring on your colors. I wanted the background of this nail to kind of be like... Um, those amber nails that are really popular right now I wanted to give it that kind of amber glassy kind of look so now to create that blended and blurred kind of glass look I am going in with the isopropyl alcohol and I am just dabbing the surface of the nail to blend out the scribbled on Sharpie um, be mindful that you're not adding too much alcohol to the nail at once because it will wash away the marker and also you want to use at least 91% isopropyl alcohol anything lower than that has too um, much of water content in it and it won't work as well so I'm just patting the surface of the nail until I'm happy with how it's blended and I think in the next clip we're coming up here, I'm actually going to go back because if you over blend the colors, you can go back with more alcohol and start dabbing on and you can see right now it's adding more texture to the nail um, and creating kind of those bubbly little effects across the surface. So some of them were a little bit too dramatic, so I'm just going back, tapping them out, blending them a little bit more and I'm going to go until I'm happy and then I got to learn to leave things alone because it's very easy to just keep going and get carried away. <laughs> So using a black gel polish or black schmelt it or black gel paint if you have one, um, I'm using a product that we're actually working on at the moment, so it's a little bit top secret. <laughs> um, but you can use any black gel product that you have. We're going to start creating um, random sized splotches on the nail. This is going to act as the center of the leopard print. Uh, I want these spots to be slightly different um, from spot to spot. They can be slightly different sizes, slightly different shapes. We don't want them to be too uniform. Once you've got your spots applied, you're going to go ahead and you're going to fully cure them in your LED or UV lamp. using some gold transfer foil I'm going to apply the foil to those cured uh, gel spots this is going to be the metallic center to our beautiful leopard print Using that same black gel as before, we're going to begin painting the outside of the leopard print spots um, and we are going to continue until we've covered all the spots on the nail. I find the easiest way to make the spots look more textured is to apply the gel with kind of like a padding motion. I hold my brush more parallel with the nail and kind of pat around the perimeter of the gold um, splotch that we applied in the last step. And you guys can see I'm not really using any special technique. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of just patting it around the perimeter of the gold and just trying to really not make it perfectly round, I guess, is the key here. 
Um, we're going to add some more detail to it in the next step with our ombre brush. So just go ahead and finish applying the black around the gold spots. Do not cure before our next step. Please and thank you. So now I'm going back with our Ugly Duckling Ombre Brush and I am flicking, very technical term, uh, on the top and bottom of each of the leopard print spots that we made. This is why I asked you to not cure that black gel. Um, by kind of flicking the gel out like I'm doing here with the very, very tip of the brush, I'm not really applying much pressure, it's kind of giving it um, a, a fur-like look. It's like giving it more definition, maybe not definition, it's giving it more texture and kind of giving it more of that furry fuzzy look. Once you're happy with the texture you've created, you're going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure. Now using our Ugly Duckling Mat, I am going to seal the nail and I'm going to do a full cure which is about 45 seconds in an LED lamp and remove that dispersion layer and get it ready for the next step. Now you guys can leave it um, matte if you want to or you could leave it uh, shiny, you could seal it with no wipe and you don't have to do this step if you don't want to but I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to that background color. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going back now with the same colors I used in the beginning and swirling over the surface of the nail, taking more alcohol, creating more um, splotches and kind of uh, Sharpie affecting that surface of the nail and I'm gonna go back and actually wipe some of that ink away from the gold I want the gold to really shine through I'm just trying to make the background look more rich and more amber like <laughs> This kind of design looks great matte or shiny, but I'm going to seal it with no wipe and keep it shiny because I really want to see the depth of the color that we have in that background. So I'm just sealing it with my Ugly Duckling no wipe, doing a full cure of 45 seconds in my LED lamp, and our leopard print nail is complete. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.